Hello, you are welcome. Thank you for joining Master Simba's class. Yet to find the value of x in this given problem, let's take everything on this side to the left. So we have x is to power 6 minus into bracket x minus 2 or is to power 6 now equals to 0. Then you can factor this power of 6 here as 3 times 2 so that we have x raised to power 3 then raised to power 2 here minus similarly here we can write this as into bracket x minus 2 raised to power 3 which is also raised to power 2 here then equal to 0 then what we have here follows difference of 2 square when we have a square minus b squared this gives us a plus b then multiply by a minus b then here a here is standing as s cube and b is standing as x minus 2 cube so this become x cube plus x minus 2 cube then that's a plus b then times x cube minus x minus 2 cube now which is equal to 0 then for here we have two cases the first one we have x cube plus x minus 2 cube to be equal to 0 and the second case we have x cube minus x minus 2 cube equals to 0. Then for the first case, when we solve this, this side follows when we have a cube plus b cube, that's sum of 2 cube, which we can write as a minus b, I mean a plus b rather, into bracket a square minus ab plus b squared then when we write this in this format so this becomes x cube sorry that is you know a here now standard x so that's x plus x minus 2 in form of a plus b x is a here x minus 2 is b then to bracket x squared, then minus x times x minus 2, then plus what we have here now b that's x minus 2 all square, that's b square, which is now equals to 0. Then what we have here will be 2x, then minus 2 multiply by here we have x square the minus x we open as minus x square then plus 2x then here give us the expansion here we have x square minus here before x then plus 2 square which is 4 then equal to 0 we can simplify this other bracket x square cancel each other x square minus x square then this will still be 2x minus 2 then into bracket we can rearrange this and say this is f square then plus 2x minus 4x that's minus 2x then plus 4 now equals to 0 here also from here we have two possible cases we have 2x minus 2 equals to 0 or we have x square minus 2x plus 4 equals to 0 and here 2x is equals to 2 then divide both side by 2 here x equals to 1 so we have x equals to 1 from here then also on this side we, we use 
that formula x equals to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac over 2a. So where a here is 1 and b is minus 2, c is 4. So x now become minus minus 2 plus or minus square root of minus 2 square then minus 4 times 1 times 4 then over 2 times 1 and from here x will be equals to 2 plus or minus square root of 4 minus 16 then over 2 and which will be x equals to 2 plus or minus root minus 12 over 2 and here root minus 12 we can separate root minus 12 as root 4 times 3 times minus 1 and root 4 here which is 2 now then root 3 root minus 1 is i so root minus 12 we can write it as 2 root 3 i and x now will now be equals to 2 plus or minus 2 root 3i over 2 and uh, when we separate this, these two can divide each of these two and x will now be equals to 1 plus or minus root 3i so here we have two you know solutions from here which are complex solutions then that's for the first case when we have x k plus x minus 2 k equals 0. Now let's solve the other case here. That is when we have x k minus x minus 2 k. From here, this also follows when we have a k minus b k, which we can write as a minus b multiplied by a square plus a b plus b square which is equal to zero now what we have here cannot be written as x minus into bracket x minus 2 that's in form of a minus b then multiply by x square then plus x times x minus 2 then plus what we have here which is x me b square now will be into bracket x minus 2 all square now equals to 0 from here now what we have here we use minus to open the bracket so this becomes x minus x plus 2 now then times we have x square here <coughs> x open bracket here we have plus x square then minus 2x then the expansion here gives us plus x square minus 4x then plus 4 now equals to 0 from there then here x minus x has cancelled out so we have 2 left which is into bracket here we have s cube plus s cube plus s cube give us 3x cube then we have minus 2x minus 4x that's minus 6x then plus 4 now equals to 0 so here we have here we can divide through by 2 and 2 we cancel out on this side and 0 divided by 2 still 0 so what we have left is 3x square minus 6x plus 4 which is now equals to 0 now when we solve this quadratically as well here x will now be equals to minus b that's minus minus 6 plus or minus square root of b square that's minus 6 square then minus 4a is 3 and c is 4 then over 
two a that's two times three and what we have then becomes x equals to six now plus or minus square root of here give us 36 then we have minus 4 times 3 times 4 that's 48 then over 6 then what we have there we give us x equals to 6 plus or minus square root of minus 12 over 6 and root minus 12 we got that already to be equals to 2 root 3 pi so from here x will be equals to 6 plus or minus 2 root 3 i over 6 and when we separate this into two fractions from here we are going to have x to be equals to 6 over 6 plus or minus 2 root 3 half over 6 and from there 6 over 6 plus 1 so x equals to 1 plus or minus 2 go in 6 that's 3 so that's root 3 i over 3 so we have two other complex solutions here and they all together now we have five solutions to this problem from this first two here we can conclude here that the solutions to this problem are the first one x1 from here is equals to 1 we have x2 equals to 1 plus root 3 high we have x3 equals to 1 minus root 3 high then we have from here we have x4 equals to 1 plus root 3 high over 3 and also x5 be 1 minus root 3 i over 3 so these are the you know, possible solutions to this problem and we can check if this satisfies the given problem so when we check for x equals to 1 from what is given which is x is to power 6 equals to x minus 2 is to power 6 if x equals to 1 here yeah, then this equation will become 1 raised to power 6 is it equals to 1 minus 2 raised to power 6 so that means 1 raised to power 6 is it equals to minus 1 raised to power 6 and whenever we raise a minus to an even number we got a positive so minus raised to power 6 that's plus so we have 1 raised to power 6 equals to 1 raised to power 6 1 raised to power 6 is 1 and which is also equals to 1 so therefore the left hand side equals to the right hand side and we can conclude that f equals to 1 satisfy this which all other complex solutions too will satisfy thank you for watching subscribe to this channel for more videos and Give your comment, give a thumbs up and share this video. See you next class.